Hi everyone. Um, I hope you had a good Christmas. Um, Cause yeah, I, I had a good Christmas, but I came home to a leaking radio, which wasn't that good. Um, but yeah, this is my winter essentials video, I suppose you could call it. Um, just basically some things that you probably should have to prepare yourself for winter. Um, I didn't do this, I was going to do this earlier on, but as we're actually officially in winter now, because um, if you don't know, uh, the official day of winter, when winter starts, is on the 21st. Um, so I was going to do it earlier, but I had my Christmas crafts to get through, um, but that's all done now. So let's start, shall we? Basically, uh, I'm going to start off with the, you know, the common, the common sense one, I suppose you could call it. Uh, a good, a good jumper. A good jumper is always good because um, they're warm and snuggly and they look nice, I suppose you could say. But no, it just, it just keeps you extra warm, you know, because layers, layers are what are important um, in the cold, you know, so plenty of layers. So if you do get hot, um, you can just take a layer off and then if you get cold later on, you can just put it back on. So then it's all good. <coughs> this is actually the first jumper I've brought since I was 13. And I'm 24 now, so that's a long while. That's like nine years I think I don't know uh, a scarf to go with the jumper I got this for Christmas uh, from my boyfriend's uh, nan or mum I'm not sure but because I've already got a scarf actually but this one's nicer because it actually matches my jumper kind of you know it's just a darker shade but like my other my other scarf that I've got that I brought myself is actually like grey I don't know, this probably looks great on camera to be honest, but it's like, I don't know really, I suppose it does, it is grey, but my other one's a darker grey, I suppose you want to call it, so it's a darker, it's a darker grey, but this one's a lighter grey, so it looks better with the jumper, that's, that's, that's as far as that goes. Um, oh yeah, I just want to take some time out, can we just take some time out to look at the size of those vitamins? These are vitamins, and look how, look, look. I am, I actually like nearly throw up after, you know, when I saw these because I'm fine with pills, I'm fine, I've been taking pills for freaking ages because I've got epilepsy, so, but these, they're just, look at them, they're like torpedoes that go through your mouth, that's ridiculous, um, but vitamins are important for winter because obviously, I mean, you know, you should be taking vitamins all, you know, throughout the year, but in winter they're more important because you're not getting as much sun, so you're not getting as much vitamin D, so you know, it, cause you, you know, in summer you do get natural vitamins that come from the sun, but obviously in winter you still get sun, but you're not as exposed to it as you are in summer, so, but obviously in summer you should protect yourself from the sun, so it's kind of a, you know, either or, you kind of lose in a, in a kind of weird way, I suppose you could call it, but vitamins they're good for winter, take them. Just don't, you know, maybe try and find small vitamins in these because this is, look at them. I'm sorry, I know I'm going on, but they are just, they're massive. They're just, I don't know how I swallow them. Uh, right, should we get on to be, oh no, wait. There's a few more, there's two more things. Right. Gloves are important. Now, you can use, I mean, I've got hand cream to show you, obviously. That's an essential, but if you're, you know, if you go out in snow, or it's just really extra cold you need to wrap yourself your hands up in gloves because they will get dry and damaged I mean I've got quite fun gloves <laughs> I don't know um, but mine are raccoon ones with ears but I, don't, I, I was gonna call him Mr. Biggles because that's just so unoriginal <laughs> so no I won't, I'm Mr. Raccoon original uh, lost an ear, I'm so sad look at that I'm sorry, we'll find it one day. I'll buy a pom pom and sew it back on you. <laughs> Sad times. Um, but yeah, gloves are very important. This is stupid, but um, I, I, I'm a strong believer that in, in winter, <laughs> you can already tell that I've used like nearly all the packet. Look, I don't even know how many there are left. There's like two in there, maybe three. But these are soothers, <laughs> not that you can recognise them. Um, but you should have these in your bag because there'll be someone coughing you and you'll be like no get away from me you're infected and then you know if you start getting a sore throat have one of these because then you're like you know you're, you're fixed in because you've got two it sooner I suppose but um 
I had bronchitis for two weeks and oh my god, I tell you what, I don't wish it on anyone, it was horrible. Like I couldn't get to sleep properly, it was really hard to get to sleep, I had to like, I, I had to make a, like a hospital bed with my pillows, like it was like a pillow fortress just so I could get to sleep. I had to drink loads of water and you're supposed to drink loads of water anyway but I find it really difficult, I don't know why, like I drink one glass of water and then I end up feeling like really sick, I don't know why. I've always had that problem. I don't know if it's because I probably down the glass of water, probably, and that's probably why I feel sick. But I can't sip it, I just can't help it. I mean, if I drink some water, I won't drink the whole lot because I'm that like, thirsty. Because I find it really hard that, like, I know it sounds really odd, but I rarely get thirsty. But I can't, I can't describe it. It's just, I'm just weird. Um, but Suva's always good to have in your bag, just in case. Right, we were talking about hands, so. I, I said that this was, was going to be in the video. Hand cream. Now this is this is very important because um, you're you know I don't know about anyone else, but I didn't used to get dry hands. But ever since I've had my son, I now get dry hands. Um, and obviously that's because my skin's changed and my hormones change. Um, my how it affects my skin and you know I maybe one winter I don't get any dry hands anymore, but now I do. So I use um, Garnier. Skin Naturals. I thought I said that quite partially. Uh, hand repair. It's, it says in intensive restoring hand cream. Um, when I've got dry skin, I suppose that it does actually really help like, a lot. Like I do notice that it gets like rid of the flakes, I suppose you could say. Um, so it does restore it quite quickly. But I mean it says extra dry skin. I don't have I don't know if I have extra dry skin, I don't know. But when I do put it on without my gloves. So say I'm going out without my gloves and I put it on. I still come back with dry hands. So I don't know if it's supposed to be like, oh, you've gone out, you've got dry hands, put this on, we'll repair it. But I thought it would kind of work as a barrier. I mean, how's it work? So oh yeah, okay, maybe it's not supposed to be a Okay, I don't think it's supposed to be a barrier, but I thought it would like, if it restores it, I thought that surely it would protect it, but obviously not. Logic thrown out the window. I am obviously stupid, but you know, maybe, I don't know. Probably something they could have put in, you know, barrier and restoration. But then I suppose I did have to get my money out of here. I don't know. You know, merchandising and all that lot. Right, so we've talked about protecting your hands, protecting your lips as well. So always put, unless you're wearing a moisturising lipstick, I mean even if you are, I would apply a base coat of this um, like lip balm maybe after or before, I'm, I'm not really sure because I don't really, I'm wearing lipstick today but this is because my sister bought it for me and um, you know this is really weird, I haven't worn any other colour lipstick other than black for several years, I don't even know if I've ever worn lipstick that wasn't black. Like. <clears throat> I can't even remember, to be quite honest. I don't think I actually ever have. So that's going to be weird because I want an elf collar. If you follow me on Twitter, and I'll put the uh, text below of what it is, because um, you should follow me because, you know, I'm awesome. That's all I'm going to say on that factor. Um, <laughs> I won uh, £100 worth of elf goodies. Uh, if you don't know elf, they're amazing. I'll put their uh, link in the description. Um, and it stands for eye, lips and face. Eyes, eyes, not eye. Eyes, lips and face. And they are amazing. Because it's good quality product for like a real good price. They've got new moisturising lipstick. And I've got all those shades coming. So that'll be interesting. But I'll have that on my blog. I'm going to review it on my new beauty blog. That's launching uh, in the new year. So I can't wait for that exciting. Right. Body moisturizer. Now, I rarely have to use this in summer. Like, I know people are like, oh, you should moisturize all the time, blah, 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 but my skin is really smooth. Like, it's mega smooth. Like, um, I don't know why it is. It's just natural for me to have really smooth skin on my face and my body, blah, 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 blah. blah. But um, in winter, that changes. In winter, my, I don't know if you can see it, but my, you can kind of see it, I think, I'm not sure. 
my, I've got like flakes there and everything. Um, but yeah, I've got like flaky skin in my T-section, but it only happens in winter. Um, See, so yeah, I use the, I use this. I, I mean, I use it anyway before I put a foundation on anyway. But um, yeah, but you, you know, you should use it extra if you've got dry skin on your face. Um, and for some reason, I've got dry skin on my elbow, which has never happened before. That's a quite odd experience. So I've been, I've been doing that. So this is only the super drug cheap one because I don't really feel the need to get really expensive moisturizer. You know, if someone wants to buy it for me, then go ahead, buy me some expensive moisturizer. But Personally, I just use the Super Drug brand and it smells nice and it feels nice and it, I feel like it works, I don't know. Right, hair. This is the last bit of my winter essentials. But basically, these are my two care products at the moment. You can see that I'm nearly kind of all out with this. But this is the uh, L'Oreal, L'Oreal Paris Hair Expertise. Um, this is a new Ever Rich No Sulfates. Obviously, I get no sulfates because wind doesn't damage your hair. Because um, my hair used to be really thick. Like, it used to be like, liar, man. Like my sister um, is now. But um, now it's gone thinner because I don't, I think, probably because I bleached it and dyed it after having a baby, which probably wasn't the best idea because when you have a baby, you kind of lose hair a bit naturally anyway. So that was a bit stupid of me and now I'm paying the price for it. So that's a top tip. After you have a baby, don't bleach and dye your hair because it will, you know, result in thinning your hair. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, no, no sulfates, nourishing care system. Uh, the reason why I got this one is because um, it nourishes and tames it. I mean, I'm not really bothered about the taming thing. You know, my hair can go white for white hair because then it looks bigger and whatever. But the nourishing, because it moisturises it, and that is important for winter because your hair will, will dry out if you don't if you don't moist you know moisture it properly with the shampoo and conditioner you're using. It will the winter wind will have an effect on your hair. I mean, you should wear a hat as well because obviously that will protect your hat and it will keep your ears warm. Because um, I don't know about anyone else, but my ears get absolutely freezing in winter, especially when it snows. It's like oh my god, my ears are about to fall off because they're that numb. It's ridiculous. So that's that's what I got. Also, moisture. I bought the Aussie Miracle Moist Conditioner for hair. That, I love this. This is amazing. I always read this and giggle to myself in the bath. For hair that's dry, damaged, a bit unhappy. As if your hair's go. You know what? I can't take this anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm unhappy. I need to be happy. You know. So I love that. Um, so yeah, that that's good. So you know, because my hair's, I feel like my hair's damaged anyway. I've been told that it's not damaged, but I don't know. I just, it might just be me, but I feel like it is. So yeah, the Miracle Moist is what moistens your hair. Obviously, keeps it moist uh, for winter, so that you know it doesn't dry out as much. So that's you know, it's a good uh, product. I think that's it. I think I think that is actually just. I think that's it. I think that's, I think I've covered everything. Oh, and a good bubble bath. That's a good winter essential. A good luxury bubble bath. Oh and hot chocolate as well. But you can't go wrong with hot chocolate. Nope, you can't go wrong. You know, as long as you've got marshmallows and whipped cream, you know, you can't go wrong. Perfect. Perfect. Um don't know what my next video will be. It's anyone's guess really. Um hopefully my elf products will come um by Monday um because I sent it off last Monday so hopefully it'll be here by you know because this is gonna go up on Saturday so Hopefully it'll be here in two days time, um, and then my sister's gonna come round because I won, and she was like, she was all like, oh, well, tell me when you get them because I'm coming round to test to test them, and I was like, oh, alright. So you might see my sister. My sister might be on video, might be doing a bit of makeup together. I don't know. We'll we'll find out, I suppose. Okay, well that's it then, and I'll see you guys next week. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to uh, thumbs it up. Subscribe if you want to see more and then comment below if you have any questions or anything you want me to do as long as it's not too, you know, bad, you know. I'm not going to like run down the street naked for you guys, that's just, that's going too far. Um, but yeah, if you have any ideas or you want to tell me what your top winter tips are then I'd be love, you know, I'd love to find out or just tell me what you got for Christmas because, you know, Christmas is fabulous. Sad it's over but, you know, we just have to wait next week. Next week, next year now. <laughs> Could you imagine if Christmas was every week? I think I'd be poor. Or I'd probably just tell people, no, you had one last week. You're not getting any this week. 
Alright, and well, I'll see you next week. Bye!